Hello, our grammar for today is all about do and does in grammar. In English, there are two tenses which they don't have helping verb. They are simple present tense and simple past tense. This session, I am going to talk about simple present tense. Look at this sentence. It is very simple sentence in English. There are subject, verb, and adverb. It is present because there is no ed or marker which belongs to past tense. In grammar, it is simple present tense. And now, how can I change it to question or negative? I'm going to change this sentence to question. At first, I changed the punctuation. It means that I changed full stop with question mark. As I mentioned before, there are two tenses which they don't have helping verb. In English grammar, I must use do for simple present tense. The next step is that because my sentence is question, I must change the order and do must come first. At last, I must change the capitalized form of subject. So, I change capital letter of subject day to a small letter. Keep in mind, you must read it with rising intonation, like this. Do they walk every day? Look at this sentence. She walks. For first step, I change the punctuation from full stop to question mark because I want to change this sentence to question. Because my tense is simple present tense, for the second step, I bring do at the first of my sentence. But there is an exception. As you know, in English, most of the time there are exceptions. Look at the subject. It is third person. In simple present tense, for third persons like she, he, it, we add s to verb that we call it third person's s. In English grammar rules, I can keep the third person s. What can I do? I give it to do. As you know, words end in o, sh, ch, ss, s, x. When they want to take s, we must add es. As a result, do changes to does. Now it is the time for last step, change the capitalized form of subject. Read it with me, please. Does she walk? I remind it again for you. Please read it in rising intonation. Does she walk? Well done. I think it was piece of cake. Now you're ready. Change your simple present tense sentences to question. We do and does. Quick recap, there are two tenses which they don't have helping verb, simple present tense, simple past tense. There are three steps to change simple present tense to question. At first, change the punctuation from full stop to question mark. The second step, according to English grammar, add do at the first part of the sentence. The third step, change the capitalized form of subject. In simple present tense, for changing your sentence to negative, just add not to do or does. For short answer, look at here. She walks. Does she walk? Yes, she does. No, she doesn't. Add not to does. Be careful about punctuation. After yes and no, you need comma. For negative long answer, we need does plus not between subject and verb. She doesn't walk. As I mentioned before, in simple present tense, for subject pronouns, 
I, you, they, we. In negative and question form, we need do. Here is negative. Look at here. This sentence, they walk every day. Negative. They don't walk every day. Do plus not comes between subject and verb. Are you ready for more exercises? I know your answer is yes. Number one, Peter lived with his father. Here we need for Peter, subject pronoun, third person. Yes, before Peter we need does. Does Peter live with his father? Number two, you learn Spanish. Yes, subject pronoun you. Before you, we need do. Do you learn Spanish? Number three, Andrew and Martin ride their bikes to school. Andrew and Martin, they are plural. And before them, we need do. Do Andrew and Martin ride their bikes to school? Number four, Steve wear pullovers. Yes, exactly. Before Steve, we need does. Does Steve wear pullovers? Number five, Sandy's hamster live in a cage. Yes, Sandy's hamster, third person, does. Does Sandy's hamster live in a cage? The last one, we work in front of the computer. For subject pronoun we, yes, we need do. Do we work in front of the computer? Well done. Ready for negative exercises? Here we go. Number one, bats mm, lay eggs. Exactly. After bats, we need don't. Bats don't lay eggs. Number two, a snail, m, mm, fly. Yes, a snail is third person and we need doesn't. A snail doesn't fly. Number three, this girl, m, mm, go to the disco. Yes, the answer is this girl doesn't go to the disco. And the last one, they, m, mm, clean the bathroom. Negative is they don't clean the bathroom well done now you're ready to change your sentences that is in simple present tense to negative and question thank you for watching